have seen us so thank you. Amen. 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 God is so good all the time. All the time. God is so good. Hey, as, uh, we have a chance before the, the message to look at our prayer list in the bulletin. Let me just comment on several of these. In addition to the Eccles family, uh, we need to pray for Judd Gray's family. He had been on our prayer list for some time. He passed away as a friend of Chuck's. Um, also, the Smiley family, the Sircone family, the Smiley family, the Sircone family. And then I received a text message from April Wells during Sunday school at the fatal accident over a brilliant last night was a friend of hers, the Maston family. People tell me that it was a terrible accident. Traffic was shut down. And, uh, so our hearts go out to the Maston family. Commenting on some of the prayer requests that are in there in the first column, five names down, continue to pray for Mary. Uh, she's, she's doing well, right under her name. Susie Party is really tired with this tumor that she has. Just continue to lift Susie up in prayer the Lord would heal her. Jamie Huggins is getting treatment on cancer. This is, I think, the fourth time she's down in Texas. The middle column, thank the Lord, my mom is doing well. The pneumonia level went up this past week, but mom continues to function well. We just thank the Lord for what he's done. Bucky went. He still has not heard from the MRI, so he can't walk, but we did have a meeting over there at his house on Friday. He looks good. It's just that his legs give out. Eleanor LaRue, she'll start her treatments again in February, but we praise the Lord that they're giving her a break here during the holiday season, the Christmas season. The middle name in the middle column, Jennifer Schoolcraft, had a pretty good week. She had migraines one day. In the third column, the second name, Misty Doty, my sister also suffers from migraines, and I pray the Lord will take those away from these ladies. Wayne Kemp, the first name in the last column, uh, pray that his heart gets stronger. I saw him this past week, and that heart just seems to be getting weaker. Darlene is not here this morning because she was under the weather. And um, halfway down the last column, John Pavlik, pray that he's able to swallow when they do the swallow test in about, I guess, about two to three weeks. And then Iris Farrell, I talked with Iris, but she hadn't received the report back on her PET scan. But um, she's been battling cancer. Pray for her. Mildred Mitchell, uh, we need to add her name. She was over at Trinity West. She has a wound back on her back where she had surgery. Alicia Vincent was supposed to do back surgery tomorrow, I think. So keep her in prayer. Don Kennedy. I think they changed that to the night. To the night? I'm not sure. I thought that. Yeah. yeah. They changed Alicia's surgery from the 25th to the 9th of December. Okay. Don Kennedy is has a lot he's, of problems. He's with a brother-in-law of Judd. What's that? Passed away. He's what? A brother-in-law to Judd. He's a brother-in-law to Judd Gray. Judd's, Judd's the wife and Don were brother and sister. Okay. And Don has diabetes really, really bad. Um, a lady over at Evangel Baptist Church, Dana Hare, her mother, I don't know the mother's name, had a blood clot in her heart, needed <coughs> prayer. And uh, then there were some unspoken needs. Are there any additional names that you'd like to add? No? Okay, let's join our hearts together for prayer. Father, it is good to be in your house. As I said to the choir before we came out, the 100th Psalm, enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. Father, that's our goal today is to give you thanks, but also to humble ourselves, not just in asking for your blessing upon our lives and your direction for our lives, but Father, to humble ourselves and acknowledge that you are in control of everything. And we come before you because we recognize that all power is yours. We do believe in prayer. It's not so much that prayer has anything power of its own. It's that you hear and answer. And Father, we again are very grateful for the way that you have answered your prayers, not only in this past year, but this week. Thank you, Father, for the many things that you've done for us and keeping us and our loved ones saved. Thank you for providing for us every day. Thank you, Father, for your spirit giving us encouragement and also convicting us of those things that we're doing wrong. Thank you, Father, for your forgiveness. Thank you, Father, for your Son, Jesus Christ, who died to make us part of your family. But, Father, we come and we're asking, Father, that you would also, in addition to our thanks, hear our request in behalf of others. Our hearts go out to the families of these who have lost a loved one here within the past week or so, some just as recent as last night. The Maston family, comfort them. 
the father of the Sir Cone family, as well as the Smiley family, the Eccles family, and Judd Gray's family. Lord, we ask that you will be near them, comfort them at this time, help them as they try to, to move forward without their loved one here beside them. May you give them strength and encouragement. And may you, Father, help the family members if they don't know already to know that your son came not only to die for us, but when he left earth, he said he was going to prepare a place for us. And the Father, not only will we get to go to that place, but we'll get to see our loved ones again. May that be the source of encouragement to those who are grieving. We pray, Father, for these others that we've got listed in the bulletin, and I'm not going to go through each of them individually. But, Father, we're lifting these people to you today and asking that your blessing will be upon them. Please meet that need, whatever it is. Whether, Father, it's a need for healing, whether it's a need for your peace, whether it's a need for a difficult situation that they're struggling with, you know what every situation is, and we're asking, Father, you to help out. Thank you again for what you do. We even pray, Father, for the unspoken needs, things that people maybe don't spell out exactly what the need is, but ask you, Lord, to meet those unspoken needs as well. We thank you for being our God. We thank you again for this opportunity that we have not only to come into your house and worship, but for this opportunity to enter your presence with these prayer requests. And we thank you, Father, for what you're going to do. Even though, Father, we may not see it now, we know that you will hear and answer. We pray that you will help us to keep trusting in you. We pray, Father, for a revival within our land. We pray, Father, that you might stir the hearts of your people to get back in your houses of worship, that we, as your people, might once again love you and want to follow your instruction. Give our leaders wisdom. Help our leaders to know your will. And pray, Father, that you might especially protect the president and vice president. We pray, too, Father, that you will be with uh, our military and law enforcement personnel. <coughs> Bless them and their families and keep them safe. And, Father, I do ask that you'll give me the words that I need to say today in this message. Pray, Father, that you might be honored. Please use this time for your glory. And hear these requests of ours. In Jesus' name we pray. <coughs> Amen. Amen. <coughs>